This year, a group of visionary doctors, veterinarians, and scientists came together to address the vitally important topic of comparative medicine, to discuss and explore the meaningful overlap that exists in the broad spectrum of clinical illnesses in both humans and animals for the purpose of expanding our perspectives about these shared disorders a message which speaks directly to the needs for a global and species-spanning approach. Developing deeper relationships between doctors and veterinarians around these shared clinical challenges can lead to an unprecedented potential for new approaches to the diagnosis and treatment of diseases in both animals and humans. The Animal Medical Center has built its outstanding reputation by providing not only extraordinary care for companion animals, but also for understanding and nurturing the important connections between people and their pets. We proudly sponsored the third Zubiquity Conference, which was held in New York City on November 2nd, 2013. The opening remarks that set the tone for this momentous event were made by Barbara Natterson Horowitz, MD, a professor of medicine in the UCLA Division of Cardiology at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA and founder of the Zubiquity Conference, Richard E. Goldstein, Chief Medical Officer at the Animal Medical Center, and Paul Kelly, the Chief Veterinarian and Director of the Zoological Health Program based at the Bronx Zoo. The Zubiquity Conferences were created to serve as living laboratories of interdisciplinarity and interprofessional engagement. It's just a wonderful opportunity to feel part of this endeavor, so I'd like to thank you again. Our patients do talk to us, they do communicate with us. They can tell us what's wrong. You just have to take the time to learn how to listen. The keynote speaker for the event was Elaine Ostrander, PhD, whose presentation promoted the all-important connection between humans and animals. She is a renowned researcher in the study of genes important in growth regulation, particularly as it pertains to disease states in humans and canines. The conference addressed clinical areas including oncology with a focus on an analysis of breast cancer in an 11-year-old feline domestic short hair, a 19-year-old Amer tiger, and a postmenopausal woman. So radical mastectomy is the treatment of choice in the cat, not necessarily in the dog. Um, it certainly increases disease-free interval and it may improve survival. In a way, what we're seeing in the animals is what, what humans would see if we didn't have breast screening. The infectious diseases lecture involved a detailed discussion of Lyme disease in both a six-year-old bull terrier and a 41-year-old female. The diagnosis is a little bit more difficult though in veterinary medicine. We, uh, we tend to see these rashes that people get. And so when, in order to diagnose Lyme disease in a dog, it is more difficult. The final morning lecture explored cognitive and neurodegenerative disorders and comparisons in canine cognitive dysfunction in an 11-year-old French poodle and dementia in a 71-year-old female. I think that defining dementia is difficult to uh, uh, paraphrase uh, Supreme Court Justice. I, I can't really define it, but I know it when I see it. Afterwards, Dr. Paul Calley, Chief Veterinarian and Director of the Zoological Health Program at the Bronx Zoo, and his staff welcomed the Zubiquity attendees to a two-hour walk-round session at the zoo, where humans got to mingle with such interesting animals as ferrets, California sea lions, penguins, Siberian tigers, pheasants, amphibians, and an impressive aging male gorilla. The closing keynote speech was delivered by Harvey Feinberg, MD, PhD, and President of the Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Sciences in Washington, D.C. Dr. Feinberg issued a stirring call to action. Human health is inextricably linked to the health and well-being of animals and the ecosystem we all share. This conference promises to open new opportunities for physicians and veterinarians to collaborate in ways that will simultaneously advance human health and animal well-being. Thank you very much uh, to the panel. Animal Medical Center and its staff is dedicated to improving the lives of both its animal patients as well as their owners. 
we were proud to sponsor the Zubiquity Conference as part of our ongoing pledge to support the groundbreaking emerging science known as comparative medicine.